how were these berries contaminated? The most likely scenario of how the berries were contaminated with hepatitis A was that someone with the virus handled the fruit. Hepatitis A is spread when traces of faecal matter containing the virus come in contact with hands, water or food and then enter a person's mouth. Another possibility is that a water supply that has been contaminated with sewage containing the virus has been involved in the processing. So how did the berries stay infected? Freezing does not kill hepatitis A, so while the virus doesn't grow in frozen food, it is essentially preserved during transport. Many other foodborne bacteria can survive freezing, like Listeria, Salmonella and E. coli. Bacteria in frozen foods become active again when the food is brought to room temperature, so essentially you're at the same risk as you would be for any food. So will cooking remove the danger? Yes, experts say that the bug could be killed by cooking, but it needs to be thoroughly heated to above 85 degrees Celsius. The best advice with these berries though is just to dispose of them. So what other frozen food could be at risk? That's a very hard one for us to answer. Australian farmers are arguing that imported foods from foreign farmers are not subjected to the same level of testing as locally produced foods. Only 5% of imported foods that come in are tested, so that means a lot slips through. What precautions can you take? The best precaution is to buy Australian grown produce. Local food is subject to much higher standards of testing.